Hello, I'm Bronson. And I'm Jessica. <laughs> Welcome to Loudon High School. Today we're going to learn about CTE classes. Which is Career Technical Education. Let's go learn about them. Welcome to Miss Layman's class. This is a class about cooking. You'll learn all the technique about how to make food and prepare food and serve food. Let's all learn about it. It's locked. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Culinary Arts. I've taken this class twice and it's a great class to take. I've taken it twice too and it's really fun. You get to make a lot of stuff and you get to eat. Hi, Culinary Arts is great and you should take it too. You get to cook a lot. A lot of other stuff. Guys can take it. It's not just girls. This is a great class. Um, Miss Lehman will teach you a lot. Everything's different each day, and it's a really good class to take because you learn a lot about food. Uh, in culinary arts, we learn about working in food service, what you need to know in restaurants. We learn basic cooking, things that you can use at home, but the idea is to prepare you for a career in food service. Behind me is Miss Smith's classroom. In her classes, you learn about families and babies and crafts. A bunch of cool stuff. Let's go learn about it. <laughs> class is early childhood education, and we uh, there's child care one, two, and three, and then I teach child development. And in these classes, we learn about how to teach children, how to work in daycares, how to own daycares, and really any jobs that would be um, required with children. And it's a good background if you enjoy working with kids. In this class, we uh, pretty much function as a family, and we're all really, really close. And Miss Smith will get anybody if they be mean to you. And we learn skills that you do in the class, and then we learn life skills that you take with you forever that you wouldn't even know that you learned. And we do a bunch of projects and we learn how to plan daycares and plan your life when you grow up. This is HVAC! In HVAC, you'll learn about heating, air conditioning, and ventilation. Let's go learn about it. In this project, uh, teaching kids how to, to rewire a unit and uh, learn how to read a wiring diagram. Mechanics. In auto mechanics, you will learn how to do the basic needs on your vehicle, such as change oil, change tires, and if you have a vehicle, you can always bring it over here and get it fixed by Mr. Bibbins. Let's go learn about it. How you doing? I'm Mr. Bibbins. I teach the auto mechanic class here at Loudon High School. It's a very interesting class, very hands-on class. You'll do anything from pulling a transmission like this to changing brakes, tires. Here we work on automobiles. It's a very fun class. It's a new task every day. And if you haven't had this class, you need to take it. I've taken this class four times. It's not just a boy class. Girls can come and do this too. And girls have a lot of, have actually better experience than guys do in working on vehicles. Just so many wide varieties of activities that you can do in here. It's all different. Every day is a new experience. Hello, I'm Mr. Fritz. Uh, I want to introduce my class to you. I do machining and welding. We do CNC training. Uh, a lot of really neat things go on here. And our, our students, we have a, a waiting list for our classroom. The students are really fired up when they come in here. Class, we have learned a lot. We've made like hammers and different stuff out of metal. Bombs. Yep. Hands-on activities. And uh, people work with my hands to create things, create new New uh, metal. Yeah, you say that? Uh, what I do in this class is welding, uh, some machine work, 
Don't make bottle rocket launchers in this class. You will not, it will not turn out well at all. And always wear protection. This is Philip's class. In Mr. Philip's class, you'll learn about carpentry and working with wood. Let's go learn about it. My name is Mr. Phillips. I'm the instructor for Core Construction, Carpentry 1 and Carpentry 2. What this entails is an introduction to the world of construction. When you leave here, you will have a, a good understanding of uh, rough framing and finished carpentry. Uh, it will prepare you for an entry-level job in the construction industry. It doesn't necessarily require a college education, but if you want to reach the upper levels of the realm, you, it's certainly going to be an assistance to you to have a college education. Uh, in this class, you learn a lot of stuff. The first year you come in here, you'll probably make like birdhouses, uh, toolboxes, different little fun projects. And then as uh, we go farther in the course, you learn bigger things and you end up building storage buildings and stuff like that, and we sell them. And and it's not just for guys, it's for girls too. I've made all kinds of different things in here, um, like birdhouses, um, model garages, anything, just help out. But don't think it's an easy class because it's hard, you do work. Behind me is the greenhouse. You can learn about plants and other agricultural things. If you take one of Miss Everett's classes, then you get to learn about these awesome things and be active with them. Let's go learn about them. <laughs> Hi, I am Miss Everett and I am the Agriculture Education Teacher here at Loudoun High School. This slide talks a little bit about what my class is comprised of because there's three parts. Classroom work slash laboratory. We have this classroom where I teach my classes and we also work in the greenhouse. And then in my landscaping class we'll be just outside and the outdoors is our laboratory. FFA is our student organization. Students have the opportunity to compete and go on trips and do lots of things through the FFA. And then finally, SAE. SAE stands for a Supervised Agriculture Experience. All my students work on developing an experience that they can call theirs to help them grow and learn more about agriculture on an individual basis. So all of those things make ag education. Um, my favorite part about school is FFA. You can come and hang out with friends and learn about ag. Um, you come check chickens and we have meetings and you get to learn a lot about the world around you and the way it works and it's really cool and interesting. And we do a lot with the chickens and with plants and there's different classes you can take and they're all really fun. Two of my favorite things that we do in FFA is a farm day and the other is my business management team. Uh, at farm day we spend a day and we go down to a farm and uh, we teach fourth graders uh, various parts of a dairy farm and uh, all kinds of different stuff about feeding the cows. And uh, my business management team, there's four of us on it. Last year at state convention we, uh, we uh, were regional champs so that means we beat everybody else in East Tennessee and uh, so we got a big plaque for that and I got recognized at a big convention so it was a lot of fun. Laura Dagnan. I teach computer applications, business management, accounting, and virtual enterprise here at Loudoun High School and I have a few students to talk about my classes. I have taken two of Ms. Dagnan's classes and that is computer applications and accounting one and you learn so many important things that you use for the rest of your life compared to some of the other classes where you might only use them in the classroom. You can take what she gives you and apply it in the real world so it's pretty essential. Ms. Dagan's business classes are useful whether you go straight into a career or into college. Students learn how to format documents, they learn how to format spreadsheets, do formulas and functions, they learn how to start and maintain a database, and they learn how to do a multimedia presentation with PowerPoint. Welcome to Ms. Pate's class. In Ms. Pate's class, we learn about health science, forensic science, anatomy, and all about healthcare. Let's go learn about it. Science Ed class. I'm Mrs. Pate. I'm a nurse. I teach classes for kids that are interested in going into a healthcare career. 
Um, my classes include health science ed, that would be the first class that you tend to take. And then um, there's anatomy and physiology, an honors class, mainly for juniors and seniors. Dual credit first responder, which is also for juniors and seniors. Diagnostic medicine, where you learn about all kinds of tests that um, we do in healthcare. And then uh, forensic science. Uh, they're a lot of fun, and I hope I'll see you in one of my classes. Nick Howard. I'm going to Miss, pa Miss Pates. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm Nick Howard. I'm in. A, I'm going to first responder right now, and uh, I want to tell you what I like about that class. Well, first, it's not like your normal class. Uh, it's a lot of hands-on action. You know, not not much of the, not much of the study. You know, getting all the tests and crap. It's it's hard work, and uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know what I'm going to say. Oh, stop it. In this class, you will learn about photography, digital arts, and video game design. Let's go learn about it. <laughs> Welcome to Graphic Arts. I'm Miss Peterson. There's four classes you can take with me. The first one is Digital Art and Design. Second is Photography 1, then Photography 2, and Animation and Simulation. And if you'd like to know more about my classes, you can read about them on my website, which is right here. Look for this picture. And I'm also going to introduce you to some of my students who are going to tell you about the things they've been learning in my class, like Michael and John. In this class, you can use iMovie to use for whatever you may need in the form of filming. <laughs> this year, we actually had our 10th annual Loudoun High School Academy Awards, which is an award ceremony for Digital Arts and Design, which is a class that makes films for the show. And the Photography Club, run by Ms. Peterson, actually like, puts on the show. So we have a new class called Video Game Design, where we make two-dimensional games and this is my game Egger, which I put into a contest that we have here, held every at the end of every semester, and this is the game that won. And this is the game I made, which is called Egger, and we made everything by hand in Photoshop. This is the 3D printer we got just last year. We are using it to learn the basics of 3D modeling for our game design class. Uh, some examples of things we made are this trophy we use for the Academy Awards, you just apply the glue onto the plate, then set it and calibrate it. So we got the file for this off the, uh, a website called Cubify. And in this website, people, various people, share different files for 3D models they or 3D models that other people can use. I've really enjoyed the photography classes here at Loudoun High School because it's given me the chance to work independently on projects and techniques that I've looked up online. And this picture I captured of wine flowing into a wine glass was one of the projects I've worked on. And thanks to this video, I was able to get my settings on my camera perfect to be able to capture this picture. Um, another thing you get to work on here in the photography classes is you get to enter a contest by not that Nikon puts on every year and this picture that I entered of a barn was actually a finalist in the contest. If you're really interested in photography you should join the photography club because it gives you a chance to go out to different school events and take a lot of pictures like you can go out to the football games or you can go to the basketball games or you can go to all the plays. It just gives you a nice chance to play around and experiment with all these sorts of photography. Welcome to Miss Emmons' class. In Miss Emmons' class, you can take chorus and learn how to sing, or you can take theater arts class where you learn how to act. To be or not to be. Let's go learn about it. I hear the Romans. Oh my God! 
Fine arts is important to me because it's an escape from a normal everyday school routine. Uh, it's really a chance for me to just express myself and like release all the emotions and frustrations that build up throughout the day. And honestly, if it wasn't for Ensemble, I really wouldn't want to come here at all. My name is Elisa Inman and I'm the theater arts teacher here at Loudoun High School. Each semester we perform a one or two act play at our school and have a tremendous time learning all about theater. I love what I do. We have a wonderful time. We sing all the time. We have great performances all through the year. But I tell you what, I'm going to let my students tell you a little bit more about it. Ensemble is important to me because it's that one time a day where I can escape into the band room and be with all these people that share this one common interest and that is music. We've all been blessed with this one passion and this one talent and it's the time of day where we can come together and forget everything that's going on and forget all of our differences and come together and celebrate the one thing that we share and that's music. So darling, darling.